try to keep it low here so we can capture some of the uh, scenery, the background mountains there. I have to uh, go a little bit further, Sylvia, so I can get momentum here. Because the wind is really... Uh... Right now, I'm going against the wind there and it's picking up nicely. But I do have some resistance here as I'm coming down, so I gotta use throttle here to keep a little bit of up elevator, just to keep it uh, downwind. Now when I come back here, I lo loosen uh, the, the throttle a little bit and use a little bit of an up elevator just to keep it floating. Go a little bit throttle here to speed and counteract the, the wind, because uh, the wind does provide some resistance. If you're going against the wind, it does lift the model up, but it does provide resistance. So you got to keep those things in mind. I'm trying to fly it really slow here, like I was doing the other day. But That's a Mia Racer Gyro. That too, you know, you gotta have the right wind conditions and uh, right now the wind is a little too strong in one direction and it's shifting. The wind is shifting direction. You know, I, I can't tell sometimes. Okay, right now it's going against the wind right now. Right, for the camera, I'll go again. Go one more time around, pick up some height. Because I'm gonna go downwind here. Pick up some height. Pick up some height. Speed helps also to gain height. Okay, go that direction here. Okay, I'm gonna pick up some speed and then slow it down as I'm entering the, the camera view here. Sideways there. Notice how the wind is sideways, making That's because the wind is uh, going on an angle. Right now, if I fly it on an angle right here, it's going right there. That's the wind. The, the direction the wind is blowing. Really. Wind crosswind here. I'm going to bring it again on an angle here because the wind. I notice the wind is uh, is heading in, uh, in on an angle. Actually, I'm going to go one more pass here. Okay, speed here. So I'm going downwind. Notice how the model wants to nose dive. Yeah. Coming against the wind now, that should lift up real easy and I can fly it slower, right against the wind here. So, this video can also be used for training purposes. Since I'm talking, I mean, I'm, I'm describing exactly what I'm doing on the transmitter without showing the transmitter control. But if you follow what I'm saying here, and just uh, pick up on some of these tips, you know, you can uh, probably fly your auto gyro a lot easier and a lot uh, faster too. Going slow again. I'm going towards the wind. The wind's coming directly in front of the model right now. Got some speed. I'm losing battery power, so I'm going to land. I'm going to pick up some height. Pick up some speed downwind. I want to bring it again, and this time I'm going to land. I'm just going to take a little further here so I can pick up enough momentum here. Without too much power. Notice how the motor's not really doing much of the work here. Just landing. Uh, wasn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Okay.